Have you started learning Python? Let's get real. Are you disappointed after spending hours or days learning Python network automation? And later you realize you can't apply your newly learned skills in a real world environment. All labs, all examples, and now maybe you're looking for answers. Why? Why? This video is for you. And what is my qualification doing this video? I am one of the first Cisco Nexus 9000 instructors in the world. This was way back in 2014. Also, I'm one of the first Cisco ACI and Arista instructor back in 2015. I started teaching Python network automation since then. I am also a certified Cisco DevNet instructor since 2020. For those who are new to this channel, welcome. I am your host, name is Dean Armada, and I am your cloud and data center rockstar. And on this channel, talk about tech careers and certifications, trivia and tutorials in cybersecurity, trivia and tutorials in cloud and data center, and my journey as an IT instructor. So feel free to check out the rest of the channel and consider subscribing. Here are some of the most common issues we are currently facing. First, say you are already learning Python and you have an idea what to automate. So you started coding and it took you several hours to finish and test the script. Then you finally made it work. Then you realized, why did I need to do all of this? Why do I have to learn Python? And it took me lots of time and effort. It could have been easier and faster if you could have done it manually. All right, next, uh, you are proposing a network programmability and automation solution to the boss, but disregarded the idea. Why? Maybe because he doesn't see any value. Uh, there's a saying, if you don't use it, you will lose it. In the case of Python, uh, since you are a network engineer and you're not applying the things you learned, it makes total sense. Some people, they just learn this Python automation because it looks cool, right? But how will you use it in a production environment? You may feel disappointed because after all of the wasted time and energy, nothing, nothing is stupid, isn't it? But the good news is, you are not alone, and I'm here to guide you. So I ask my students from CCNA and CCNP classes, why do we need Python network programmability and automation? Most answer is to centralize configuration and uh, information gathering. And I always ask them back, do you think it's worth the learning and shifting to Python network automation based on your current environment? And uh, are there any other options besides Python scripting? I would say it still depends, uh, but we're going to talk about this more later. What's the best approach? We have tools and libraries like Paramico, Tecmico, Napalm. It's not because some popular instructor slash YouTuber discuss this. It means it's the best option. I am going to highlight this. No, it is not. There's a reason why it's not covered in Cisco DevNet courses and certifications. Network-based APIs are way to go. It is designed and more used in a real-world production environment. Is it life-changing skills to learn Python network automation? Well, if a company or your company is looking for this expertise, Probably, but still not too many companies requires it. So how much level of Python expertise you really need to implement Python network automation in a production environment? There's still comments like, I don't want to learn coding. The reason why I become a network engineer because I don't want to be a programmer. 
Let me answer all of these issues and misconceptions. The best approach is, is all about knowing the different use cases. And to be honest with you, there are not too many use cases out there. We'll base it on a series of questions and answers. First, will it be more efficient and faster if we use network automation? Is it worth the time and effort researching and learning this new technology? If yes, proceed to the next question. If no, use the traditional or manual way. Second question, do we really need Python network automation for this specific use case? Or there are existing tools available. Now you need to do your own research. If you can't find any, all right, proceed to the next question. Okay, so here's the last question. Are scripts already available? If yes, this is when you will start learning, but very minimal. As long as you understand the use case requirements and the network topology, you can just download the available scripts, change the parameters such as IP address, credentials, etc., and you are good to go. If there are no available scripts, this is when you need to start learning and create your own Python script. Here are the most common use cases. First, bulk device provisioning. Uh, the solution is ZTP or POAP. Next is information gathering and configuration from multiple devices. Uh, solution is we can just automate this using network-based APIs. Uh, next is bulk device software or firmware upgrade. Again, we can automate this using APIs. Next is more complex configurations such as IP addressing, dynamic routing, VXLAN configuration. And the solution is more of an intelligent automated configuration, again, using network-based APIs. And last is integrating these network devices to software applications. Again, the solution is still network-based APIs. Oh, how do I back these use cases? All use cases that I mentioned are features already available in Software Defined Networking or SDN, such as Cisco ACI, Arista Cloud Vision, and maybe Juniper Contrail. This goes back to question number two. Are there any existing tools or features? If you have Cisco ACI, for example, you probably don't need Python automation in most of use cases mentioned. There will be different use cases though, like automating policies such as EPGs, rich domains, contracts, and so forth. Most common environment and scenarios? Well, definitely data center network switches. Of course, why? because they are connected to servers and applications. It can be virtualized, containerized, and bare metal environment, or mix of everything. It can be very complex because behavior are constantly changing, where we need to deploy hundreds or thousands of virtual machines or containers, because all of a sudden there's an increase of application requests or traffic. Now, network needs to adapt to these changes. On the perspective of containers and VMs, this would be a bit easy when it comes to automation, but for networks, not really. All right, second, large networks. Network automation is really for large networks in data centers. We're talking about 20 or 50 or even hundreds of network devices, because if you're going to automate just one or two or five device, most of the time, it's much easier to do everything manually. Okay, last, repetitive task, creation of VLANs, shutting or unshutting interfaces, or running show commands is also common. This is just the first part. Next, we're gonna talk about those use cases I mentioned, but in more detail. We will start with the most important Python network automation feature, and this is called ZTP or POAP. This is always skipped by most trainings and tutorials that you have attended and watched. Why? I don't know. See you in the next video.